Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your free CFL week number eight previews and prediction. It is uh, Friday, July 28th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your friendly Fridays. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Raymond Report. You can get the Raymond Report each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. All right, what we're going to do here in this uh, CFL uh, preview show we're going to look at the power ratings going into week number eight we're also going to look at the sbi the sports betting index let you know if the favorites underdogs the over unders what they're doing this so far this season also we're going to give you the computer picks here of the ram report and then we'll finish it off with the stats and trends of uh, the week for week number eight all right let's uh, get to your power rating let's go to number nine the edmonton elks not having a really good year at zero and seven on the season they come in at number uh, number nine for the uh, Calgary Stampeders, tough overtime loss last week to the Ottawa Red Blacks. They come in at number eight. They're two and four in the season. Saskatchewan, three and three on the year. They come in at number seven. Montreal, two and three. Uh, they come in at number six right now. Hamilton Tiger Cats, they are two and four in the year. They come in at number five. The Ottawa Red Blacks, they are three and three on the season. They come in at number four. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers, five and two on the season. They're your number three ranked team here in the power ratings at the Ram Report. The BC Lions come in at number two with their five and one record. And the number one team in the CFL is the Toronto Argonauts with their perfect five and zero record. And there's your power ratings for week number eight of the Ram Report here at ATSStats.com. Now the SBI, the Sports Betting Index. What we do is we take a look what the uh, the favorites, the underdogs, and the uh, the totals have done in the uh, week-to-week basis and you can see on the season in the CFL the favorites have won 66.7 percent of the games compared to 33.3 for the underdogs that is winning straight up but when it comes to covering the spread there's a 10 percent difference where the favorites have won 56 percent of the games compared to 40 percent for the underdogs so a 10 percent difference when you look at the favorites winning and covering the spread that's why i say all the time it's always good to see if it's the uh, if the spread is manageable just don't sweat it out take the money line spend that little bit of a uh, geico insurance and uh, take that money line also on the under uh the over under a lot of unders this year in the cfl in fact 75 percent of the games last week went under the total and uh, bring the uh the year total to 56 percent of the games in the cfl going under the total this year compared to 44 percent to the over under all right let's get to your computer picks for week number eight We'll kick it off tonight here in Ottawa, which I'll be at that game uh, between the Hamilton Tiger Cats and the Ottawa Red Blacks. Now, this line opened up. It was close to like three, three and a half. And uh, Bo Levi Mitchell, the word came out, he will get the start tonight against the uh, Ottawa Red Blacks. So the line did come down. But you know what? Bo Levi is not the same quarterback that you saw in Calgary the last uh, 10 years. And uh, I'm gonna, I am gonna—I think we're going to see an Ottawa victory here tonight. And according to the uh, computer forecast, a 25.9 the 23.2 victory for the Ottawa Red Blacks. Very tight game. We'll see if the computer's on the, on its game here this evening. Total landing on 49.15, so it does like it to go a hair under the total. Hamilton coming off that tough loss too. So the uh, their rival, in fact, the, the QEW right down the uh, the 401 to the Toronto Argonauts. 31 of 15 was the final, and uh, Ottawa winning in overtime last Sunday. Uh, 43-41, that's their second overtime win in a row. And we'll see if they can keep uh, Lady Luck on their side going into uh, week number eight. Chance of winning this game straight up does favor the Ottawa Red Blacks at 57.4% compared to 46.1% for the uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats. And uh, looking at the, some of the streaks, Ottawa on a two-game win streak. Last two have uh, covered the spread, and the uh, last two games have also gone over the total. And uh, we'll see what happens here tonight. I did have the Ottawa Red Blast listed at minus four in my value index, so I think the money line is uh, most doubt. If you like Ottawa, take the money line. If you like Toronto, uh, sorry, Hamilton, take that Geico insurance, take the points. All right, game number two, tomorrow afternoon in Toronto, you got the Argonauts hosting the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Now, Toronto, a big favorite in this one. 10.5 is the line, 47.5 is the total. And we're going to lean with the team that has a perfect record on the season at 5 0. Kind of a, a gifted uh, <laughs> schedule the first uh, seven weeks with two buys in their uh, schedule. But the, they might have a, a tougher uh, schedule down the road. 30.5 for Toronto, 18.7 for the Rough Riders. The over under landing on 49.31. So we do like this game to go over the total. Looking at the chance of winning this game straight up, does favor the Toronto Argonauts at 75% compared to 23.08 for the Rough Riders, who are coming off a tough loss in their last game to the BC Lions. 19-9 was the final. 
And again, Toronto winning against Hamilton 31-15. All right, another low-scoring affair here. According to the computer pick, the BC Lions off another low-scoring game, 19-9 against the Rough Riders, while Edmonton in their last game, uh, we have the score, but it's not listed right here. I'll get to, I'll try to get that for you before we go. 14.2 for BC, 9.74 for the Elks, and the over/under landing on 23.9. So we do like this game to stay under the total. And looking at the uh, the line here for the uh, BC Lions, minus nine. I had them listed. Uh, on the road at 4.14, a little bit low here, but we'll see uh, what happens. That's kind of low. Uh, it's a very high, that's a big difference between the minus nine and 4.14, considering the season Edmonton's had. And uh, Edmonton coming in on a seven game losing streak. And Edmonton in their last game, it was a um, yeah, loss to Winnipeg, 28 to 14. So I did promise you I'd get that. And there it is. Edmonton on an eight days break, BC on a six day break. And we'll see what happens here. Uh, this. Uh, Friday night or Saturday night, 7 o'clock at uh, Commonwealth Stadium. I don't know it's still called Commonwealth. I think it is. All right, and your uh, final game on Sunday between the Calgary Stampeders and the Montreal Alouettes. Minus 2.5 is the line here for the Alouettes. 47 is the total. And uh, you can see the computer forecast. He's a, a field goal game here. 24.5 for Montreal. 21.2 for the Stampeders. The over-under landing on 45.7. So we do like this game to stay under the total but the chances of winning look at that so the computer pick likes Montreal but the percentage play favoring the Stampeders at 66.6 percent compared to 56.6 for the Alouettes and Montreal coming in on a three game losing streak and uh, you know what I'm going to lean with the Stampeders in this one give me that uh, two and a half points I'm going to take Calgary uh, over Montreal and I wouldn't be surprised if they win straight up but uh, we'll take that Geico insurance and give me two and a half. All right, there you have it. That is your computer picks here for CFL preview week number eight. But before you go, let's look at some of the stats and trends. When Edmonton's at home, last 10 against BC, they are eight and two straight up. So that's an interesting little stat right there for the Elks against the BC Lions. Lions don't do well at Commonwealth Stadium. And uh, had a nice little stat on the, a perfect stat on the Argonauts. Look at this. Anytime Toronto's a 10 or more home favorite, coming off of a game where they scored 31 points or more, they are perfect, 14-0 straight up, but 8-5-1 to the over-under. Still a pretty good record. And if you like the total in the Edmonton game with uh, the BC Lions, when BC's a road team is a favorite before a conference game, and it's a, a, a division game, 5-25-0, last 30 to the under. So a uh, nice little uh, nice little number right there to the total to the under uh, of the game between BC and Edmonton. And your final stat of the uh, day, when Saskatchewan's an underdog last seven years, and they're 1-2 in the last three, the under is 14-3-1 to the under, so you might want to consider the under in the game between the uh, Toronto Argonauts and the Saskatchewan Rough Rider. Toronto got a really good defense. In fact, you know what? Let me go to my dashboard right here, and if you go to Ron's favorite, the scoring averages, and let's go to the CFL. The thing I like about this, if you just click on the game matchups, it tells you the rank of each team on offense and defense and how they're uh, comparing to the opponents they're facing this week so if you look at the overall standings toronto scoring 37.2 points per game winnipeg 27 and bc 25.8 and the number one defense in the uh, canadian football league is the bc lions giving up 15.6 ottawa was in the in the top four last week i think they were second but giving up 41 to calgary brings them right down to number five this week but you know what down to number five but when you compare the second place points against 21 and 23 we're talking two point difference in the canadian football league so there you have it that is your uh, cfl scoring averages and again you can get this each and every day right here at atsstats.com and uh, we're probably one of uh, only a handful of sites out there that cover the cfl so if you like stats and trends and the point spread numbers for the canadian football league this is your uh, main headquarters right here at atsstats.com sign up today it's only four dollars 99 cents for a week 19.99 for the month and a year membership i believe is um 79 or 99 dollars one of those two hey what do i know i just own the site all right uh, there you have it that is your uh, free cfl preview and predictions for week number eight right here at the canadian football league and folks hope you can visit us each and every day right here at atsstats.com and uh have a great weekend of football, everybody, and uh, we'll see you back here with another Rim Report.